Hey guys, what's going on? Will or Lightduke72 here bringing you guys another best class setup video. If you didn't see the previous best class setup video, there will be an annotation on the screen. You could click on that to go check it out or there will be a link in the description that will take you to the best class setup video playlist that I made and you could go watch it from there. So anyways, let's get on with today's class setup video which is going to be on the HBR A3 Bear Fist. Now this is an elite weapon and it has minus one accuracy and minus one range for plus two handling. Now having the plus two handling doesn't really do much for me. Um, handling and mobility in this game kind of is on the iffy side of like what does it really do. Um, I know the handling obviously you could handle the gun better but it's not a big deal difference for me having plus two handling isn't it, it just doesn't really help that much um the main reason why i love the hbr a3 bear fist and why i've actually used it quite a lot is because it comes with a red dot locked onto it so it comes with a red dot sight already on it and you can't take it off or do anything so this is good for like if you just prestige and you choose to permanently unlock the HBR A3 and you have the HBR A3 bare fist unlocked you'll have a red dot sight already on it and I don't know if that means anything to you guys but for me it's important having a red dot on the HBR A3 the iron sights aren't the best I can use them but I would prefer to run a red dot on this gun um, this gun just the iron sights they're diamond and they're weird and they kinda of block a little bit and I don't know, it's just, it's easier to use this gun with a red dot on it. So, the red dot takes up my first attachment slot, and for my second attachment slot, I'm running foregrip. Now, the foregrip obviously helps because it will increase your accuracy, and for this gun having minus one accuracy, but then you slap the foregrip on there and that gives it plus two accuracy, it kind of fixes itself. Um, the range doesn't really matter, um, for me anyways, I don't really... If I'm taking a long shot, I know how to, you know, shoot the gun in order to get that kill at a long range. It just might take another bullet or two, but, um, either way, range isn't that big of a deal. So having the, uh, the grip on there to increase the accuracy, um, is a plus. I really enjoy having the, uh, the grip on there. Now, for this class, I'm actually running a secondary, which is very, very, very unheard of for me anyways. I normally never run a secondary, haven't in like any past Call of Duties since like you can take secondaries off or whatever. I just, I never run a secondary. Most of my slots, especially in um, Advanced Warfare when you have the pick 13, um, most of my slots are normally taken up with primary gun attachments or different perks. So, but in this class, I'm running the RW1 Xeno. Now, I'm going to have a separate best class setup video for this gun, so I'm not going to go into too much detail on this secondary, but it's a professional RW1, and it's increased damage by two for minus one um, handling and minus one range. So, either way, that's all I'm going to say about that, that gun, because I will eventually have my own video for that gun. Or that gun will have its own video. Either way. Um, getting into the perks. Perks are still the same as the ASM-1 Rigor. Um, low profile, blind eye, and then for my perk 3, I'm running toughness and blast suppressor. Now, I'll just go over that quickly again in, the, in this video. But um, these, this is my main uh, perk setup. I'm normally always running all four of these perks. For every class, whether it's a submachine gun, a assault rifle, a sniper, a heavy machine gun, um, specials, I mean, anything that I'm running, I'm normally always having low profile, blind eye, toughness, and blast suppressor. Um, low profile and blind eye obviously keeps you off of the radar and keeps you more hidden and um, you won't show up with different um, uh, UAVs and different score streaks and stuff, so... Those are always just good to have, especially if you're a stealthy player. And then, perk 3s are obviously toughness, so when you're getting shot at and you're getting hit, your guy won't flinch as much, so your bullets will stay on sight more. And blast suppressor is just so that way when you're using your exosuit, jumping around, double jumping, dodging, sliding, weaving, 
doing whatever you do with your exosuit, you won't uh, show up as that little ping on the radar. So, that's pretty much it for the perks, because it's the same perks that I ran last video, next video, and the video after that, and the video after that will probably have the same perks. I've been messing around with a few new perks, but this perks uh, setup has always done the best for me. I always do the best running these four perks. So, the exo ability is still the exo overclock. Never really use anything else. There's nothing really else needed. I run the uh, the XO overclock because I normally don't run um, lightweight. So the XO overclock is great to move quicker from objective to objective. And for somebody like me who plays hardpoint, moving from objective to objective to objective is actually really good. And you need to be quick to get to uh, the different objectives when the different hardpoints spawn and whatnot. And the XO launcher, I'm running two Semtex last... Uh, Last video for the ASM-1, I was only running one Semtex, but this time I'm running two. Um, it just depends on what I'm doing with the guns and whatnot. Like, last video, I wasn't running a secondary either, but this time I am, so... I don't know. It all kind of... It changes uh, roughly, but um, score streaks are still the same. UAV and System Hack, both with extra assist points. Do I really need to explain why? Uh, you know, your teammates are killing people, get those assist points. You need them. You want them. It, it, it helps a lot, especially going towards your score streaks. It helps. I get a UAV slap down on. Somebody gets two kills, I already have my system hack. Somebody gets four kills with my system hack up, I already have another UAV. It just kind of, I don't know, it really, it really works out pretty well. So, um, wild cards are just, of course, perk three greed. Um, so that way I can have my two, uh, third perks. And that's pretty much it with this class setup. So if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to uh, leave a like. Also, don't forget to check out the previous video. Links in the description or the annotation on the screen at the beginning of this video. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.